Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a full face of Shop Miss A products. I have done a Shop Miss A video on my channel about two months ago, but that was kind of like testing Shop Miss A products. In today's video, we're going to be doing a full face of Shop Miss A, including foundation, concealer, sponges, all that. If you guys have never shopped on Shop Miss A before, it's basically a makeup site as well as other accessories where everything is pretty much a dollar. Most of their stuff is probably like $1.55 because they do donate that $0.55 cents to charity, which I really love. But overall, most of their products are a dollar, and it's kind of crazy how some of these products are actually really, really good. I am obsessed with their lashes, and now it's a new place for me to stock up on my lashes for me and my clients. If you guys are interested in the last Shop Miss A video I did, I will link it down below in case you guys are interested. Before we jump right into the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below so you guys can see more videos like this in the future. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Ash Luna, so you guys can see a little bit more behind the scenes. And if you guys are interested in how to get this full face using Shop Miss A products and just continue watching. <laughs> Testing Luki. Are we good? Are we ready to start? Took forever to set up. <laughs> Are you bubbies? It took forever. Yeah. Why you got your sad face on? Huh Luki? You wanna be on camera? I'm my baby. It's okay. Go down. So to start off well, I'm gonna put some lip balm on. I'm just quickly gonna put some lip balm on. Unfortunately, all the lip balms on Shop Miss A were all like sold out. So, I just gotta use what I have. So I already prepped my skin. I did my morning skincare ready. So if you guys are interested, I will definitely link it down below. Yes. I don't have anything for you. <laughs> I don't have anything for you, Lucky Bear. This is all my stuff. I'm so excited to do this full face of Shop Miss A. I've actually fell in love with this brand and I do quite a bit of shopping on this site now. There's just so many cute little stuff they have that's only a dollar and some of their stuff's actually pretty good. The first thing we're gonna be using is primer and I have this primer here which is called the Perfect Filter Face Primer and then I have this one here which is called the Aqua Hydrating Face Primer. So I'm assuming this is gonna be like a pore minimizing primer. So I'm just gonna focus this on my T-zone area and then I'm gonna apply this all over over. So we're going to try this bad boy out. I'm just going to put like that much on my T-zone area. It doesn't have a scent to it and it's not as thick as like the putty primer that I use all the time. Actually, it smells like lotion. <laughs> Hopefully none of these products break my skin out. I actually saw that this primer has really good reviews on the site, so we'll see. Today is election day, so I'm gonna be doing a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> Honestly, this primer feels really nice and silky smooth and actually pretty hydrating, but I do wanna test this primer out as well, so I'm gonna apply this all over my face. I'm just going to apply a tiny bit all over my face. This one feels really nice too, but it does have like that lotion perfume scent, which I don't mind, but I'm assuming it probably has a lot of fragrance in it. Now that we have the primer on, we're going to go ahead and put some foundation on. But first, I wanted to show you guys the sponges that I have from Shop Miss A. This one right here is the first one I picked up from Shop Miss A, which I had mentioned it in my first Shop Miss A video. So if you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below in case you guys are interested. Um, I actually fell in love with the sponge and I bought like 10 of them, I promise you, um, to keep in my kit and then to use for myself as well. But then I went back online to do this order and I saw they have a couple new products out and I saw this sponge and it's called the Silly Dip Wonder Blender and it's silicone infused technology which I thought was pretty cool. I've actually never used a silicone sponge type of thing on my face um, but this one I thought was cool because it says that the front here is supposed to expand when wet, absorbs less germs, super soft sponge um, which is down here and then you have absorbs less foundation up on the top. 
So I thought that was pretty cool. So we're just gonna put it to the test. For foundation, I did pick up this one here, which is called the Buildable Satin Foundation. The one I wanted to try, which is the one that has like the best reviews, um, they were actually all sold out out of my shades. So I just picked up this one and I have two different colors. I have honey beige and then I have natural beige. I'm not that tan at the moment. My tan is fading. So I think I'm gonna go for the natural beige. So we'll see what this looks like. I'm just gonna apply a couple drops on my palette here. The color does look pretty spot on, which is really nice. I will say they are pretty limited on shades, so I am hoping this one works out for me. So I'm just going to use my little silicone sponge and start blending all this out. The foundation doesn't smell terrible, which is really nice. So this sponge does feel a little weird. I'm not like used to the silicone feeling, but I will say it's not absorbing as much product as like a regular sponge does. This color does look a little too yellow for my shade of tan right now, but it's okay because we are gonna put some concealer and bronzer and all that, so I think it will be fine. On the bottom of the sponge is like that soft, normal sponge feeling, so I'm just gonna go over everything just to make sure everything's nice and smooth. So, so far so good. I would say the coverage of this foundation is more of like a medium coverage. Um, it does cover a little bit, but it's not a full coverage foundation. I'm sure you can build it up, but I'm just gonna leave it medium because that's the type of finish that I prefer. Moving on to concealer, I have two different shades here. I have Fair Ivory and then I have Buff. I feel like buff is going to be a little bit better for me, so we're going to use this one. And this one does say it's a natural finish and it's non-drying, creamy, long-wearing, so we'll see. This concealer has a squeezy applicator to it, so just keep that in mind. <laughs> I am going to try to use the silicone part of the sponge to blend this concealer out. So far so good. I did apply the concealer with the silicone part, but since it doesn't really grab that much product, it was a lot of product underneath my eyes. So I did blend the rest out with the bottom part of the sponge and I applied a little bit on my lids as well. And I feel like everything looks really good so far. I don't want to jinx it, but the color, the shades and everything and, and how everything is blending out, it looks really nice on the skin. Last Shop Miss A video I did, I did use this cream contour stick and I really did like it. So I'm just gonna use this to cream contour. To blend this out, I am using the brush I purchased from that video. Again, if you guys are interested, I will link it down below. This is actually one of my new favorite brushes to use to blend out cream bronzers. So now that I have everything blended, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. Now underneath my eyes, I'm gonna use this AOA Perfect Finishing Press Powder. This is in the color Banana. And then for all over my face, I'm gonna use the Translucent Powder. So I'm really excited for this because this does look like the NYX powders that they have that I used to love. To set 
my face, I am using this brush that I picked up from Shop Miss A. Y'all, don't sleep on their brushes. They're really good. And they're only a dollar. Or like a dollar fifty-five. <laughs> Now to set my cream bronzer, I'm going to go ahead and use this one right here, which is called Sun Glow Shimmer Bronzer, and this is in the color Shimmer Bronzer. <laughs> Duh. I guess it doesn't really have a name, but this is the bronzer I used in my previous Shop Miss A video. I actually did like this bronzer, so I'm just going to apply some of this. And I really like how pigmented this bronzer is. I mean, for a dollar, it's kind of impressing. <laughs> so far, so good. We're looking good. <laughs> now for brows, I'm going to be using their AOA Slim Brow in the color Medium Brown. And then as well as their powder brow duo thing here, which kind of looks like the Anastasia one. So I'm interested to see how this one works. I've actually used this brow pencil before and it's really good. So I'm just going to quickly do my brows and be right back. Brows are done and I actually really like this little duo here. I did pick up all the colors they have because I want to put it in my makeup kit. So I really do like it. And it's a wannabe little Anastasia duo thing. But this was only a dollar. So that's a steal. Now that we have our base and our brows completed, I'm going to go ahead and move on to eyes. So I'm going to keep the eyes pretty simple. Only because there were a couple eye palettes I wanted to try out. But they were sold out. I'm assuming they were... I'm assuming they must have been really popular. So instead, I'm just going to use their buttercream gel liner shadow thing. I'll okay, show you guys in one second. This is what it looks like. Last Shop Miss A video I did, I did use the turquoise one and it was so pretty. I felt like a mermaid that day. My makeup looks so good. So today I'm going to do more of like a fall inspired. So I'm probably going to use this one. It's really pretty. It's called Rosé. And then I did make my own little palette from Shop Miss A and I picked up some colors here. So I'm probably going to use these two colors and put them in the crease. And maybe I'll put this in the inner corner for like a pop of color or something. I don't know. I do have this little brush kit thing here that I got from Shop Miss A as well. All the brushes come in pink. So I thought that was really cute. So I'm going to go in with this color right here which is called Sultry. And I'm just going to apply this all over the crease as a transition color. These shadows are actually really nice and they're blending out really seamlessly. I'm also going to use the bronzer as well to apply in the crease. Now taking my gel liner shadow thingy here, which is called Rosé, I'm going to apply this all over the lid. This shadow is bomb. Like, do you guys see? So I'm just going to blend out the edges a tiny bit just to make sure everything is nice and blended. I'm taking another gel liner shadow thing here. And this is called Java Chip. And this is basically a dark brown. As you guys can see, it's a dark brown. And we're actually going to use this as a wing. So I'm just going to use a little pointy brush here. And we're going to attempt to do a wing.
I think I might have made this one a little bit longer and thicker than this one, but it's okay. For the lower lash line, I'm just going to apply that same transition color and just apply that all underneath my eye. I didn't pick up a Shop Missé mascara just because I'm going to be using falsies, so it's kind of pointless. So I'm just going to put some mascara on my lashes and prep them for falsies. So I'm going to be trying out a new style of their lashes, which this one is called Eva. I'm really excited to try this one out, but usually I use Jean. I do have backups of this type of lash, but I have used this multiple times, so I did want to try out a new style. So we're going to apply this. While my lashes are quickly drying, I'm going to apply some cream blush, and this one is called Berry, and this is what it looks like. It's really small. Elf has some cream blushes that look like this, but they don't smell as bad as these. This one does smell like old lady perfume. I like this color because it's perfect for fall. It's kind of like that berry mauve color. To blend it out, I am using the AOA High Def Brush. I might have put a lot of blush on. Oh my god. Y'all don't do this at home. <laughs> I'm just going to take the sponge and just kind of blend out some of this product. I'm going to quickly apply my lashes and I'll be right back. Oh my god. These lashes are everything. Do you guys see these lashes? They're so cute. I'm going to have to buy more of them in this style called Ava. They're really pretty. So I think I want to add a little bit of this gold color on my lid using my finger. And this is called Crown. I just want a little bit more of like a pop. Oh my god, this look is turning out really, really pretty. Don't sleep on Shop Miss A. Don't sleep. I'm going to be trying out this new Long Lasting Glow highlighter. You can put this on your face and your body. And I think I'm going to use the color Golden Dream. So I'm just going to use, so I'm just going to apply this with my finger. It's very liquidy, so keep that in mind. A little goes a long way. I'm going to be using my AOA Studio F19 brush. This is actually one of my new favorite highlighting brushes. So now I'm just taking the AOA Pow Lighter in the color Nubella. This is actually really pretty. I used this in the last video I did. I'm actually going to apply the same highlighter in my inner corner as the inner corner highlight. And I do have this lip liner that I picked up from Shop Missé, and this is in the color Perfect Brown. I also do have two matte lipsticks as well, and these are part of their nude collection. I was really surprised that these weren't sold out yet. I must have grabbed them as soon as they launched or something. So I think I'm going to go for this color right here, which is called Honey, and it's just like your basic perfect nude. really like the way this lip combo looks this lip liner is really nice it's like that perfect brown lip liner and then this color here is really pretty it is a little bit drying on the lip but what do you expect off of a dollar <laughs> lip product overall it's really nice and it smells so good it smells like sugar cookie oh, it smells so good fortunately I don't have a lip gloss to put on top of this all of their lip glosses were pretty much sold out but it's okay. I kind of like the matte vibes right now. It's really pretty. So we're pretty much done. I do want to set my face really quickly, but unfortunately, Shop Miss A, all of their setting sprays were pretty much sold out, like all of them. So I'm just going to use this basic one from ColourPop. It's the Fresh AF.
We are pretty much done with the makeup look. I'm just removing these clips here. I'm gonna fluff up my hair a little bit. Overall, I do think this site is amazing. Perfect for beginners who are learning to do makeup or people who are trying not to spend a lot of money on makeup because makeup is so expensive these days. And for everything being a dollar, it's a pretty good quality. Like this bronzer, we have the highlighter, like the cream shadow thing we have going on. The lashes, I am just blown away. I am never gonna buy Ardell lashes ever again, I swear. They're so overpriced and this quality here is way better than Ardell. Sorry Ardell if you're watching this. I'm just like blown away, especially the lashes. The lashes are like my favorite thing to buy from Shop Masse, as well as the brushes. The quality of these brushes are amazing and again, they're only a dollar or like a dollar fifty-five. It was definitely worth it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this video. Let me know down below what you guys think of this look. If you guys have shopped on Shop Masse before, let me know down below what you guys think. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe down below to help your girl out and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.